What is up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. How is it going? Hey, let's get it. How's everyone doing today? How's it going? How are you? How is everybody? Welcome to Supernova Zona. I am your host, Zona, and welcome to my live stream. As always, I have to like put the music super low because it's like loud in my ear. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm so happy to like see everyone. I know it's actually been a while since I last stream. I think I streamed like one day last week and yeah, last week was like pretty much a roller coaster, so I needed like I needed some time to like, you know, chill out and take a mental break from streaming. Um so sorry um for for that. I don't think I even let anyone know. I just took the break, but yeah, I'm glad to to be back with you guys. Hi Juan, how are you? So good to see you, buddy. Uh, Adam, hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, doing well, excited to check this out. Oh, thank you so much for joining. Oh man, I, I really appreciate um, you supporting and subscribing. Thank you so much. Uh, Adam, I literally had a, a coffee chat with him um, earlier today and it was such a cool conversation, really cool guy an awesome software engineer um so yeah <laughs> shout out to you thank you for stopping by <laughs> um uh, okay Louis, yeah babe i see Louis <laughs> in here hi babe that's my boyfriend hi thank you for supporting my day one right there <laughs> oh my god will you sh uh one will you show how to make a game you know what? Like, that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> I'm not a game developer. Um, I'm, uh, 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 for those of you guys who are new and probably don't know, um, I go by Zona, and I'm a software engineer. Um, I do more web development, so I'm a web developer. Um, I do appreciate, like, game developers, though. Like, gaming, like, game developers is super cool. I actually was inspired by a story of a software engineer, actually. Um, his name is Eric Barone, and he created one of my favorite um, video games, which is called Stardew Valley. I don't know if any of you guys have played that. If you haven't, super good. It's a farming um, st stimulation game, <laughs> and um, it was such an amazing story because he was a software engineer like me and he was looking for a job and was struggling to find a job so what he did he decided to pretty much develop a game and he did everything he developed the whole game by himself he did the coding himself the art the music the stories for each dlc in that game um he did like he learned how to draw like and it's a pixel art game so which i love because i'm a 90s kid and anything that reminds me of the 90s i love so um yeah if you haven't played stardew valley um i play it for pc but i know it's available on the switch so if you have a switch you're able to play i think it's on i think it's on every console i'd, I'd have to check but it's a really really like therapeutic game i, I love that game and the story like Hearing that, that, watching that YouTube video of behind the scenes of that game, like, that just inspired me, like, because, man, that's crazy. Like, maybe I should create a game, like, <laughs> but, um, but there are, you know, you can, in a way, uh, I code with JavaScript, so you can't, you could create, like, little mini games, but, like, not until the level of, like, a console, <laughs> but, um, Maybe I could create like a little game for my uh, for a project or something, but yeah, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, Adam, like, yeah, I I should like. I wish I had time to like, I would play that video. Cause it's so so good. 
Um, but like I have to like join my team. <laughs> We're going over the crud app, uh, but maybe if I have time, we'll watch it later. But it's an amazing story. Um, but yeah. <laughs> but how's everyone's week going? Hope everyone's doing good. Juan, I'm so glad you're here, buddy. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while since I've played Call of Duty, so hopefully I'll do another Call of Duty stream soon. I don't know when, but <laughs> hopefully I do. I've just been studying and, like, on that, I've been job hunting like crazy. Um, I actually have, I think, an interview on Thursday. Um, and it's also my birthday week. A lot of you guys don't know. It's my birthday week this, this Friday. It's my birthday, so maybe I'll do, like, a birthday stream on here and, like, celebrate with you guys. Um, so, yeah, that should be cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been so busy. I, like, completely forgot it was my birthday. Oops, I cut the music off by accident. Um, I've been so, like, busy, like, with meetings and stuff. I completely, like, forgot it was my birthday. Because um, I'm actually going to be celebrating it, like, later in the month. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but that's cool. So yeah, so for today, um, we are going to, me and my, t my team of friends, who are also um, web developers, we're going to be kind of recapping um, the CRUD app that we've, I, it was funny because yesterday we were working on our, our apps and we came into like a, a problem with the API um, that we've been using. We were trying to like, create a Studio Ghibli application. I'll give it a second. Happy birthday, mine is Thursday. No way, Adam, yours is on Thursday? That is so awesome. <laughs> I always feel like I connect with like other people born in November. I don't know why, but anyone who was born in November, I'm always like cool with for some reason. I'm not like a big astrologer, like, uh, how do you call those things? Um, oh my God, how do you call a, a geez, brain fart, but like Scorpios and all that, I don't really follow that, but any every time I meet someone and they say their birthday's in November, it's always like super cool people. <laughs> so Adam, happy early birthday. I hope you have an amazing birthday. If I don't talk, to, like see or speak with you, happy birthday, that is so awesome. <laughs> hope you have great plans yeah so for me um i'm going to be uh going out of town with my boyfriend like we're going like a midi vacation we've been planning that vacation since the beginning of the year and um because it's all it was also our anniversary our second year anniversary um on the 25th of october so we're kind of like merging doing both we're celebrating both together as like this vacation. So that's what I'll be doing towards the end of November. But, oh my God, that's so cool. Oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> I hope you have great big plans for your birthday. <laughs> One, uh, mine is on the 8th of March. Hey, dude, that's so awesome. How old are, uh, are you turning? I don't know. <laughs> I'm allowed to ask that like what the heck <laughs> oh man well whenever it is I, I I hope you have fun nice congratulations sounds great yes yes thank you Adam yeah I need a I didn't did I take a vacation at all this year I don't no I did I've taken a few trips this year um when you're turning seven Oh my god, dude, you're huge. <laughs> oh my god, you're turning seven. That's so awesome. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching me. Like, you could be, like, watching, like, <laughs> I don't know, so many other cool people. <laughs> but thank you for being here. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, um, I've taken, like, a few trips. To be honest, I really, like, wanted to go to to Disney World this year. That's one trip, like, I, I man, I wish we could have done this year. Because um, me and my boyfriend, we were trying to do a tradition to go to Disney World at least once a year. 
Um, it didn't work out this year, but it's okay. It's next year, we'll we'll plan it out. I love Disney World. I I never get tired of that place. <laughs> I never get tired of Disney. <laughs> I miss it, especially, and it's cool because next time around they're opening a new Tron ride over there, which is gonna be sick, and a Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Um, this time around or the next time around. So that should be really cool. Uh, I have to go see you soon. Bye, Zona. Oh, Juan, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming in, buddy. I appreciate you. I appreciate it. I hope you spoke to your parents about starting to, uh, to stream. Um, I don't know if uh, they'll let you, but I hope one day I see you streaming and I didn't forget. <laughs> Uh, but thank you for being here. Hope you have a fantastic day. <laughs> but yeah, back to like making like Disney. Yeah, I hope like I can go to Disney soon again. <laughs> Let's see. Um, but yeah. So yeah, me and my team tonight, uh, we are working on a. Uh... Oh yeah, Studio Ghibli API, and we found out there's something wrong with it it was a lot harder than we expected so we kind of turned it into like a movie app or transforming it into like a movie app because the api was less of a headache <laughs> which so um and i love movies so i i don't really care but yeah <laughs> so i'm gonna go in there now and see what the heck these guys are doing um so yeah this is gonna be like a refresher and um yeah, I appreciate everyone who's here. Thank you guys for like tuning in. It's so cool. All right, let me open up my VS code here. So this is, well, was initially our Ghibli app and now we're <laughs> turning it into a film app. So um, yeah, so this is pretty much uh, us practicing with Node.js and um, Express and MongoDB, that's uh, what we're using for our database. So we're pretty much, so the past two weeks kind of refreshing and and um, doing that space repetition so that we could like understand what every line of code is doing. Um, and it is a learning curve. Um, yeah, back end is completely different from front end, um, but it's been pretty cool like learning J uh, package.json and how to um, install dependencies and dev dependencies and things like that. And um, EJS, which is uh, different, um, pretty much where we put our HTML. And uh, we have our main JS, which we will be hopefully implementing today and some CSS, make it look clean. We learned about the .env, which has some, some <laughs> some uh secret information so i can't really show that because it has like my passwords and my database i don't want anyone hacking my <laughs> database <laughs> but uh yeah that's what uh the dot dnv is for um and yeah so i'm gonna go it's a discord and i'm pretty sure they're all like they're waiting for me or they probably already started um but yeah, that's pretty much what we'll be doing today. So yeah, let's go in there. I'm gonna warn them that I'm streaming because... Oh, and we have people. Oh, also, uh, I have a Discord server as well. Um, it's for people who, if you have a passion for tech, as well as gaming, I, I created this community about, dang, has it been a month? I would say like two months ago, uh, created this community, um, yeah, called Zona Tribe. And uh, it started off with literally like five of us and it's already, I think by now it's already grown to like 50 plus people, which is crazy. And so I'm gonna um, put the Discord in the chat for you guys. If you, like I said, if you're looking for a community in both tech and gaming, 
Um, we have a lot of like software engineers, um, both learning and professional. Um, I think recently we had like a UX UI designer that joined and people from all over the world. I've got, we've got people from Netherlands and India, Japan, and so many amazing, amazing people. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in joining up, there's a Discord um, and we'll be happy to, to join you or welcome you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like parched. Did a lot of talking today. I literally came um, from a Twitter space. I co-hosted a Twitter space with my good friend Izzy on inclusivity. And man, it was in an amazing, amazing, amazing space. Shout out to Izzy. Um, and yeah, we were pretty much, uh, talking about like, you know, in situations where we've ever felt left out, whether in the workspace or in general, and a lot of people like shared their stories and I, myself included, because I've always, I don't know, I've always felt like all my life, I felt like I never belonged in a particular group, uh, <laughs> because like. I grew up in like such a nerd and, uh, <laughs> kind of a nerd and especially as a girl, like you don't really, I didn't have like none of my friends, like close friends game or watch anime or talk about nerd stuff, <laughs> you know, like that. They, they, they love to talk about like, like boys and you know, some people like girl girly girl stuff and I grew up with brothers so I was always uh used to um to being around guys all the time Izzy hey what's up to it Izzy speaking of Izzy Izzy I was just saying that uh talking about how we I just got off uh co-hosting um your Twitter space and it was absolutely amazing um and yeah Izzy is such a, a an amazing friend uh, I don't even, I think we've been friends for like two, three months now. And it honestly feels like we've known each other for years. It's so weird. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the Twitter space was so cool. Like, but yeah, I've always, always felt like I don't, didn't belong in like a particular group. Um, like I've mentioned before, I grew up like a tomboy and like amongst like girly girls. So like. And I was a nerd, so gaming, anime, all all the you know typical nerd stuff. Like my friends, close friends, never really did. So it was really hard to um, to to navigate. And I always felt like, man, is there something wrong with me? Like for the longest time, I always felt and battled with like insecurity for the longest time because I was so different. And um, and also, and also, like, within even the black community, like, I've always felt like I wasn't black enough, you know, with my black peers, because, you know, I, they would say, like, I spoke too proper, <laughs> like, I spoke proper English, so, like, <laughs> like, I wasn't, like, just black enough, and I'm like, yo, I'm just being myself, like, take it or leave it, but, I mean, I, I would say after... <laughs> After high school, I would say seventeen. That's that was the age where I was like stopped caring. I honestly just stopped caring about what people think. I felt like I started to gain more confidence and boldness into who I am, and just like yo, if you don't like it, then that's your problem. <laughs> like that's your problem. Like I started to really love myself. Um, and yeah, so that was a uh, an amazing, amazing space. Um, man, I. And Izzy, I'm going to say it here on the live, like, we need to, like, start a podcast. <laughs> uh, we've been having an idea of a podcast, and Izzy, like, let's do it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we'll we'll talk about that. But, dude, it was an amazing, amazing space. I loved it. I loved all the stories. Can't wait for the next uh, t talk. So, yeah, if you follow me on on Twitter, my handle is at Supernova Zona. Well, someone, I thought I heard my door. Uh, <laughs> Supernova Zona. Um, yeah, you could um, get updates on like 
the timeout Tuesdays. That's what it's called. That's what the segment is called. So yeah. And I help co-host that. So yeah. <laughs> yes, Izzy, I called you out. Let's do it. <laughs> I have it on camera now. So <laughs> had to put that out there. Um, yeah, that was so cool. Like, oh man. We, I, I feel like could turn that into like a video content. But yeah, like like I said, we're uh, right now creating this uh, movie API app, which pretty much, you know, does all the functionality of CRUD. For those of you guys who don't know what CRUD means, it's an app that's able to create, where you could create, read, update, and delete. I can't see my fingers. Create, <laughs> read, update, and um, delete. So it's an acronym. Um, uh, functionality. So for example, think of Instagram, right? You're able to go on there. You're able to create a new post, whether it's a photo, you're able to go on there and read, um, your feed of previous posts that you've done or, and you're able to like update like comments, maybe your captions or your filter. I don't know if Instagram has to, do they still have filters? I don't use Instagram anymore. I like quit Instagram, like I would say a year ago. And it was honestly the best decision I've ever made <laughs> personally. Uh, but yeah, Instagram is like horrible. They're trying to be like TikTok and it's like killing the brand. Um, but yeah. Um, and, but yeah, back to the analogy. Uh, so you're able to update things and you're able to delete like photos and things like that. So yeah, that's pretty much what CRUD is. And so we're trying to create an app that's pretty much does this functionality. Um, this case being a movie app, we want um, our users to come in and pretty much be able to search a movie, be able to add it, um, and then update and delete it so um yeah we were having troubles with like i said it was originally supposed to be a studio ghibli and the api has been giving us crazy problems i don't know why so <laughs> we were like we literally were up last night for four hours trying to figure it like <laughs> this api out because they have like the ap the movies linked to an id so it, we couldn't just pick out the movie based on the title for some reason. And I'm not an expert in it. I'm still learning, but something about the jQuery, like was acting up. So we had to like switch, switch to like a API that was more simple. Cause you know, the purpose of this is just to do like a quick app. We're not trying to like go crazy. This isn't like our hundred hours project or anything. This is just like, just a quick app where you could do the functionality and move on. Like, so we had to move on to another API. Yeah. We were up to like almost one o'clock in, well, I was up, I was up to like one o'clock in the morning trying to figure this API, um, crap. And none of us, we were like, dude, like, thank God we did that yesterday or else this coding session would have been done horrible <laughs> like we would have been screwed this session <laughs> and i would have had to do like gaming i would have had to turn this into a gaming session or something because <laughs> it was like that bad um so yeah um uh, i have to pretty much go back and join the team which i should have done like a long time ago but i always love talking to you guys <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let me go there. My team's probably like, where the heck am I right now? And, um, yeah, I'm going to go in there. And if you like, if I'm not talking too much, it's cause I'm listening. I, you're going to listen to the team, but I'll, I'll try to figure out if I should do push to talk so I could like talk to you guys while listening to them. It's going to be a lot of multitasking. So we'll, we'll fill it out. I'll try to talk as much as I can um, because there is code that we need to update on this. And uh, so, yeah, let's do it. I'm going to have to turn the music off. I'm going to have to shut the music off because, 
yeah over them talking it's gonna be distracting and that's join me hey guys i am now streaming warning i am streaming on youtube you are live millions of people are hearing this thank you <laughs> let's get them likes up let's get them likes up yes if you haven't please like and subscribe um to this channel um and yeah for great content and fun and coding so the so the class is uh it's like a refresher on crud okay i feel like i don't know i feel like i'll have an easier time with the class now now that like i've messed around with crud yeah yeah but he goes over the first two things create and read and then okay. the opening class 40 he'll do the update and, and delete but he does okay. he does speed through the heroku thing it took me a little bit to like did you guys go through the code already or no oh you guys well, chatting? No, 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 not yet. no no not no yet. no no we were just talking oh perfect. Not... Yeah. perfect i perfect. I, I do gotta be out at nine so i'll just be in oh okay i got you okay. No problem. Are you still are we still messing with that Ghibli or did you guys change? We changed it. To yeah, we yeah we. The API. What movie API was it? It's uh. uh it what be, was it? If you don't mind, I think it's don't here. Mind it. Is it it's, in the it's, chat? It's um on the study lounge chat right here inside here like where you know is oh, at 9:44 p.m. Yeah 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 yeah, that yeah, one. yeah 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 I see it. Okay, I'll take get, a look at that one. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, because that Ghibli one is just driving me nuts. Yeah, it is. It was <laughs> we, like, a, we were up till like 1 o'clock. I think almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I think 2, to, yeah. I think, honestly, I think it's Trying two, to mess two, with two it. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was crazy. <laughs> to tell you the truth, you could, like, without EJS and just regular application, like, you, like, you could make a nice app, but... It's yeah, if it was a, just a simple, like, calling information and like it would have been easy i think that's why like people used it because it was easy for that when we started apis um but yeah with the whole trying to manipulate and and stuff yeah it got a pain in the butt and this is like like i said it's supposed to be like a quick project where we're just refreshing and not really like go too deep yeah, to get the fundamentals <laughs> going about crud <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, okay, let's do this for like a week and then everyone's cool, got it, and then we hey. move on, you know? So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we sound we sound way better in your stream now, babes. Oh, yeah? Awesome. I don't yeah. know what I did. I, know. <laughs> I think it's the nitro. Wow, you think so? Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no. Um. But yeah, I recently, no, like... I recently um Sorry, I had to just say got hello uh hello. Discord uh Nitro, which is cool. So I think the quality every oh, yeah. you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Sorry. visit you in October. Eno, say hello to my Eno, say hello to my stream now. October? Huh? Like next year? Yeah, next year October. Damn. Hell yeah, come on. Like I'm gonna show you around for real. Nice. You're gonna take it to yeah. the red light oh. district and then you're gonna be the Yakuza slave. Not uh -oh. gonna lie. Oh my not god. Lie, I've, <laughs> I've toured a couple of people around, and at the very beginning. Yeah, my friends are crazy. So, <laughs> warning. Like, you know, if you're local. Please, <laughs> please. No, the thing is that you like, if you're local, <laughs> you're just not interested in the tourist spots. Like, people will tell you, I want to see this. True, and it's like, oh, true. I know where it is, but like, I don't Like, really I've go been there, there before. So that's I'm one of my dreams, actually. I want to go to Japan. Like, oh, for real. Yeah. that's my, like, dream. <laughs> that's my bucket list. Like, destination to go oh, to is japan i love yeah, japanese yeah, culture yeah, like yeah. so much and Bro, now like, i have a friend in japan like, now so that, oh, you know, yes like, yeah, i used to tour people around and then i get lost <laughs> like, what the no 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 like not i mean like lost in tokyo but i don't know like what type of <laughs> is he no know. they're so great yeah, you don't know okay <laughs> Yes, they're exactly. amazing. They're, they're, yeah, they're yeah, I yeah. love them. They're, but after a yeah, my friends are oh, awesome. Like, down, <laughs> this is a sometimes. One piece of are you, if, are you in if you hear something weird, I'm like warning. Oh, okay, so I'll definitely see. <laughs> but yeah. all good intentions. 
<laughs> but my my family also used to do this um, touring business where people we would take them to Fuji. Uzi, hell yeah, I want to go to Japan, to, like, check out the Gundams. Osaka, yes, Osaka, I want to check out that that um. And stuff. So much. I definitely want to check out. They have like a live action mecha Gundam mecha like in Japan. They built like a couple of years ago. I definitely want to see that. Actually. I was, I didn't get into dump. It's because my boyfriend, he's like a huge Gundam man. Like, if it wasn't for him, I would have not. No. I've I've seen Gundam. I just never like knew the name of what it was, and I actually have like a couple Gundams, um, on my shelf, but it's way on the other side. So I need to probably put one of them back on my desk because I have like no Funko Pops on my desk right now um but yeah i would love to my boyfriend lewis like loves gundam <laughs> so we'll definitely check that out and um yeah i also want to i also want to check out the nintendo like stores there as well so yeah but i love like oh jeff i want a kimono like i just want a kimono that's what i want and I want a katana. I want, I want like a real katana. I don't have to go to Japan for that, but I just want a katana to like prop on my rooms. Um, but yeah. <laughs> and I also love Japanese food. Uh, ramen. Their ramen. The milk tea, which I feel like making right now. I actually have like taro powder, so I could literally make my own milk tea. From home, which I recommend all of you guys to do because it costs, it adds up. Like a cup of boba is like what, seven? Well, here in Florida, it's like seven dollars. Six, it's like seven, eight dollars a cup. Um, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely want that. <laughs> and you can literally like get all the ingredients on Amazon. I got the boba from Amazon. It's pretty much pre-made boba where you literally boil it in water for five minutes. You wait for all the boba to float in the water. You take it out. And then you put it in cold water. You take the taro powder. You could put it in either water or t or milk. And, dude, it tastes just like the stores. It tastes just like the stores. So, <laughs> life hack. Do it. Izzy, do that. <laughs> You're gonna make ramen right now, is he? No, stop. Oh, stop. I would be so jealous. Actually, I have ramen in my closet. I have a uh, I have ramen. It's not like it's kind of the ramen that I bought at Costco, where you could just put boiled water in there, and then it tastes so good. You're making. You're tempting me, is he? You are tempting me, but oh, I really want boba right now. <laughs> I'm like hearing what these guys are saying. I think they're about to go over the half now. Who said I am? <laughs> Because oh. you guys are gonna be no, talking, no, you need to listen no, to the no, video. No, 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 like we, we heard you, we heard you. We heard yeah, you. Exclusivity. Did I stutter? No, talk about inclusivity, huh? Right? Yeah, right. No, no, <laughs> you did not just <laughs> use my line. <laughs> did I stutter? That was, that's my line. <laughs> oh, man. See, I see what it is. I see what's up. Wait a minute, who leaving? No, they're gonna go to another server and not server, no, a channel. channel. Excuse channel. me, why? I because they <laughs> don't need, like us. We need what? to listen to the React video, and if you uh, guys are talking, we can't listen to it. Hello. Excuse because, me, what if because, because, <laughs> because one wants content and we're content. Yeah, content <laughs> we're Fine, content. okay, then we'll stay we'll here. Get content, we'll get content from the forest. Okay, we'll stay we get here. Hey Jason, you want to It's called here? multitasking. Yeah. Hello. Oh, shit. <laughs> fine, fine. We'll stay here. <laughs> Yay. I can hear myself on the stream. <laughs> I'll play too much. 
peer pressure always works, guys. <laughs> For a second, I was like, why is your, like, I love it. Like, like, turning green? Let me see. Are you done? Is it you making me want ramen now? Oh, no, I should do like a. Zona's code. It was oh. like flickering in and out of. Oh, yeah, that's because I have push to talk and it was like typing a million back ticks. That, that's oh, why yeah. I was doing that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's hilarious when she does that. <laughs> you just see like a freaking column of freaking back ticks. Yeah, it's annoying. It's annoying trying to figure out like what key like would not disrupt like typing. Um, yeah. cause even with, even when I put it in caps now, like when I like, uh, use it, are you it would reviewing, are you reviewing Zona's code right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at it. No. Oh my God. <laughs> Did I say you're like, this <laughs> what's, what's your idea for the app? Are you just going to do like a Netflix type thing or, and just put a watch list on that? Uh, it's pretty much uh, just like add movies. Yeah, it's pretty much adding list. movies and, and and then you can remove it if you want, and that's that's where just this is just to get the flow of crud. Yeah, and yeah. Stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, but yeah, it's just like yeah, exactly. And then adding the search ones and then deleting. Why did I not one. save this? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything is done on the service side instead of the front end. So that's like the main part that we're focused on. Mm -hmm. so. Yay. Alright, I'm gonna change my whole mm. thing. <laughs> and I might need help later. <laughs> but the only thing I have to install right now is the override. Sorry, yeah, override. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I need to push my code Let me know so when you're about to. Dude, I really want ramen now. <laughs> Izzy, this is your fault. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I want ramen and ramen boba tea. Listen. I wish I, I could, like, take this camera and, like, take you guys to my kitchen. And we could, like, turn this into, I like, a coding cooking stream. <laughs> a coding, like, cooking stream. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. What do you guys oh. think? <laughs> I wonder, yeah, it's kind of like a day Maybe in my- Maybe have ramen in the closet. Excuse me, I know that. I you literally, literally mentioned ramen that. In the... <laughs> I literally mentioned that. Thank you. I'm listening to the stream. Thank you. All right, they, they listened because I said that it was in my closet. Well, you're muted. You're muted. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you have ramen in the closet. I was like, I literally You're said right. it was in my closet. <laughs> did I not say it was in my closet? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Is he sorry? Not sorry. <laughs> no way. Excuse me, Izzy. <laughs> Excuse me. What is your closet? Wait, that would be fun. Yeah, right? I literally, like, oh, dang, okay. it's gonna disconnect. It's, co it's connected to my... I'd have to, like, stream on my phone or something like that. Can I stream off my phone? I'm pretty sure I can. Because I've seen, like, Wait, other hello? streamers. Yeah, I've seen big streamers do that. Wait, did, did the video pause? I've seen, like, big streamers, like, pretty much do, like, a day in the life. Or when they would do the subathons, like, they would do that. I have to test that, which I love about YouTube is that you're able to like do like test streams, which on Twitch is so difficult. Like you can't do like a test stream. You can't like do like a private stream, like just to test stuff, but you can on YouTube, which is amazing. So I need to test that if I could stream on my phone, then maybe one day, especially with Lewis, Cause my boyfriend he loves cooking like we should do like a cooking stream that would be like awesome <laughs> i think that'd be sick <laughs> what are these ducks heads doing okay lewis is finally taking the code out perfect 
Ah, he's gonna be right back. Yeah, I was telling them that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, if you guys are down, let me know if you would love for me and Lewis to do a cooking stream. I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be amazing. Because we, cause me and Lewis, like, we would cook, like, a lot of amazing dishes. Like, I think we did, like, a Japanese curry um, dish, and oh, it was so good. It was so good. Um, definitely want to do that again. Um, yeah, we should do that again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that'd be cool. It's kind of like a, a live vlog. A live vlog. It's either I do that or I just film it with my camera and then we'll do a regular video. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> Almost like knocked my mic out. <laughs> Uh, wow, a cooking stream sounds fun, right? Yeah, all right, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do it. Like, let's do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to plan it out with Lewis and make that happen. And I need to figure out if I could stream and it's like good quality on my phone or his phone because he has the newer iPhone. <laughs> so you probably do it off his phone. Then, um, definitely do that. I think that'll be like so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah it'll be a cool like break from like gaming and uh coding like a nice chill um normal activity like i think that'd be dope for sure i am so down like i want to do it let's do it <laughs> oh man let me um lewis is like He's stepping out, so we can't go through the code yet. <laughs> so I'm waiting for him to get back so we can get to the code. Um, man, where's my, where's my muse? Let me put some little, some little tunes back in. We can chat, but yeah, I'm totally done for that cooking. I wonder what else we could do like live. <laughs> that would be cool. Um. I know for the Discord server, I know we want to do like karaoke, which is something I definitely want to do, like a virtual karaoke with everyone. I think that would be super fun. Um, one of the members brought it up and I high key want to do it. I think we should do it like sometime, maybe sometime this month, maybe before the holidays, we could like, that'd be like a cool like get together with everyone. Um, I think that'll be fun. What do you guys think? Uh, karaoke, Zelda Tribe, karaoke before maybe Thanksgiving or something like that. The holidays, vacation, we could just do that. I think that'd be fun. And shout out to everyone. Um, the, this, uh, the tribe, I call everyone the tribe on October who showed up for all our movie nights. We did uh, pretty much spooky nights, um, not every week, but I would say like three, we watched three horror movies together and that was so, so fun. <laughs> we watched horror movies. Uh, we watched Hereditary, which was, which is one of the most creepiest movies I've ever watched in my life. I've never been so uncomfortable during a movie ever. Um, we also watched, um, our first movie night wasn't horror. It was like the mummy. We watched the mummy together, which is not really horror, but it's a classic movie. I loved watching it. Um, and then this past, uh, Saturday we watched, um, Barbarian. We watched Barbarian, which was which was good. I mean, it was, it was good. It was, it was good. I felt like Barbarian, I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't watched it, but I feel like the beginning was very good. It was very good and very suspenseful. And Izzy, I think you left like midway. I just feel like the ending was, 
the ending was uh an ending could have been better I feel like the ending could have been written better but man it was very like suspenseful like from the beginning the beginning was so suspenseful bro. <laughs> I was like, it, first of all, it was not even what I expected at all. Like, I I was expecting, like, yeah, it wasn't what I expected. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys are watching who want to watch it, but it was it was very suspenseful movie. It was really good in that. It was very suspenseful. <laughs> but, yeah, the ending, it wasn't, like, horrible. It was just, like, I don't know. It wasn't as... It wasn't too satisfying. It was ending was wasn't satisfying. It was like, although it was satisfying for one particular character, like was satisfying, but, but um, it could have been written better. I feel like it could have been written better, but other than that, it was a really good movie. It was a really good um, horror movie. Yeah, really good. Um, but yeah, those were like the movies we watched together. Um, I can't wait for more movie nights. Of course, hello, we've entered holiday season, Christmas season. So, you know, we're gonna bust out the Christmas movies, the classics. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll definitely let you guys know in the server when we'll be doing that. Um, I love it. I love like watching movies with friends. It's always fun. Um, but yeah, <laughs> you see that movie was intense. Yes, it was. I heard the ending wasn't good. Yeah, it was. It was okay. Ending was okay. It was alright, but um, yeah. Uh, more movie nights. I know, like some of us, if you love anime, we watch animes together as well. There's one anime in particular I'm really love right now, and it's called Blue Lock. Um, if you have not seen Blue Lock, I think Lewis is back from his little coding, but Blue Lock is an amazing like sports anime, and it's so fun. It's really good. I can't play like the audio because these guys are talking, but it's this anime about soccer and it's so good. It's so freaking amazing. Like you're left wanting the next episode, like what's going to happen. And I never really watched sports anime like that. I have kind of pretty much gone more of like the superhero anime like Demon Slayers or um, Jujutsu Kaisen which I can't wait and Hunter Hunter which I can't wait for it to come back but yeah this is a new anime Blue Lock if you love soccer you'll love this or if you don't not, like even if you're not like a big sports fan it's, it's got a good story um, so we've been watching that collectively as well um, but apparently, like, like to Eno, you know, we can't watch it until we finish our crud app. So, that's the, so watching this is like our reward for finishing that. So, yeah, really good anime. Check that out. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna. But yeah, we do a lot of. Let me see. Where do you watch these? Um, for this one, I, I think it's on Crunchyroll. I think we watch it on Crunchyroll. I know if you have Hulu, Hulu has a really good catalog of anime. You don't have it on Netflix anymore. Oh man, that sucks. Do you have Hulu? If you have Hulu, like Hulu has a good catalog of anime, like a huge catalog. Um, or Crunchyroll. Um, but yeah, it's only one of us like streams it. So, um, yeah, uh, Izzy, let me know like when you're free. Um, and like we could watch it together. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I watch a lot of my enemies on Hulu. 
um because i don't i don't know i i kind of gravitate towards uh hulu for that the netflix so yeah Like the stream, people. Yes, like the stream. Please, if you have it, like. If you have that, subscribe. Please subscribe. Bring those likes up. <laughs> no, I'm trying to save money and and watch for subscription. Um, you're trying to save money and watch for subscription kind of apps. Oh yeah, I totally agree with you. And, uh, oh, you're free tonight? Oh, let's do it. After a study, okay. Yeah, let's do it. I want to watch animes and build Legos. Dude, let's do it. <laughs> what kind of Lego set uh, are you building right now? I don't think I've ever, I can't remember the last time I built. Oh, no, I actually did. I remember my previous job, I think, was it Legos? I know we had, like, these robotic um these little robots that you would build i think they were made from legos and then you and then our teens like because i used to teach teens and adults um different um creative skills so i'm a photographer a fr uh, so i would teach photography and film but we also taught like 3d design we had like robotic ro workshops and we had like these huge like lego sets of these little robots that you could build and the like, teens would program them to like drive and move a certain way. It was really cool. Um, and you're building a bonsai tree? Oh, that is so cute. That is so adorable. Lizzie, that's awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. I wonder what that looks like. Let me look what it, a Lego bonsai tree. Let's, let's see what that looks like. Dude, is it this set right here? Oh my God, and it has cherry blossom. That's like my favorite flower, is cherry blossoms. That is so beautiful. Oh, look at that thing. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Nate! What is up? Welcome to the, to the stream, Nate. I'm so glad to have you here, bro. We're just looking at Legos. That's <laughs> we're here looking at Legos. What the heck is that piece right there? What is what is that? <laughs> Stay mellow, be easy. Hey, what's up? How are you? We're all on the same wave, anime and logos. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, so I got the right crowd. Oh, thank God. So yeah, uh, I don't know. Is this the the set you have, Izzy? The botanical collection, Bonsai? Dude, that like, looks sick. It's so crazy how Lego like evolved. <laughs> like, this is not the Legos we had as a kid. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Nate, uh, stoked to stop by. Got to get back into work soonish. But here I'm taking a break to eat a bagel and chill. Hey, let's go, Nate. So happy that you are here. Um, Nate's an amazing, amazing, amazing friend. An amazing software engineer. Um, oh, my God. I'm so stoked that you came by to say hello. Thank you. Thank you so much for the support, Nate. You are awesome. <laughs> Uh, check out the, stay mellow, check out the Van Gogh Lego. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> let's, let's look that up. I was looking at Legos while I should be coding. <laughs> okay, no, I'm saying it wrong. Van Gogh. Van Gogh Lego, what the heck? No freaking way. Oh my gosh. I hate these cookie settings. Oh my god, that looks so sick. Dude, even the frame I think is Lego. What in the world? I think the frame or pieces too. It kind of looks like 
Oh no, wait freaking wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, look how cute this is. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. It comes with a little is that that go? Starry night. Oh my god, dude, that looks so beautiful. Hundred and seventy bucks. <laughs> dude. Devin, this is a crud app, much like A+. Plus. <laughs> Devin, get out of here. <laughs> All of it are Legos. Dude, this is so beautiful. Like, oh my god. This is amazing. Oh, there's a video. What the heck? Oh, it's like a 360 view. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. I would so. I wonder if you could hang it on the. Can you hang this on the wall? <laughs> I I. Okay, I don't know if you can. Oh, you can, dude. I would so do that. <laughs> I would so hang that on the wall. <laughs> Lego banner almost matches Zona color. <laughs> Zona's logo and color. Yes, right. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Devin, get out. Okay, not very inclusive. I go, Devin, you know I love you. Stop. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck is this video? No freaking way. I hope you guys can hear this. It's pretty loud, I ain't gonna lie. Dude, this is such a cute little promo. Dude, if I had crazy money right now I would buy this if I had money right now I would buy this <laughs> whoa look at this <laughs> not very inclusive I'm the most inc inclusive person you never know Devin <laughs> That is such a dope freaking promo. What the heck? Why are th why is it this on is this on TV? I've never seen this. That is so dope. Jeez, I I dude, I thought this was a Lego. Hold on. If this is a Lego typewriter. Okay, no. This is like Okay, I thought I was about to wait a minute. Is this a Lego typewriter? Based on one of used by Lego Group's founders, Ole Kirk? No freaking way. Spoiler alert, giving giving away build process. <laughs> yes, I could hear you. Dude, that is so cute. That's just the cutest looking Lego thing I've ever seen. And it's so funny because like uh, me and Louis, we were visiting a friend. Uh, we were visiting a friend of ours, and she had, she found like a, a typewriter from 1992, from Goodwill, from Goodwill, and it's just as old as I am. It's so crazy. That is cool. Look at all these freaking Legos. I'm not us going into like this rabbit hole of Legos, um, <laughs> Lego builds. Do they have a freaking globe? What the heck? That is crazy to me. Like, can you imagine if we had this when we were kids? <laughs> like, what in the world? Kids these days have it too, too good. I would like. Be a professional Lego builder if I had these. No freaking way. They have the freaking office. They have the office built so freaking way. Look at Jim. Oh my god. I have the entrance right here. And then Pam is here. Dude, Michael. <laughs> Oh my god, I want this. That is so sick. 
Oh my god, look at the photos! Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got... Back. They've got... Michael... Jim and Pam... I can't with these pictures! Oh my god, that is so cute! Oh my god, the conference room! Oh my. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so shocked right now. Like, wow, dang, I need to go to the Lego store. <laughs> I'm tripping. <laughs> Thank you guys for taking me down this rabbit hole of Lego. <laughs> this is all Izzy's fault. <laughs> But, oh my god, that is so freaking cute. I cannot. Oh man, I thought they were gonna play like the intro. They should have played the intro, like. This is so freaking adorable. Dwight. I can't. This is crazy. Izzy, this is a whole whole stream is my fault. <laughs> yes, it is. Gotta buy all the Legos you want after getting that programming job from this crud app. <laughs> the one, you know what? You're right. <laughs> and you don't really don't agree, but. You know what? You are right about that. <laughs> but, dude, anyways, Izzy's going to build a bonsai tree later tonight, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's get this crud up thing going. <laughs> These guys are gonna kill me. They're gonna be like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Alright, are we ready to go through this? Basically, we have to. We are going into the final part of this server JS, which is the delete. Back to work, guys. Um, Back to work. <laughs> Back to our here. Functionality or method? Method. Property. Get. Post. Let me get yeah, this property. guy's stream. Okay. <laughs> Like that was a fun um, one of the things that you have to do babe is little side cre uh yeah. install mm -hmm. uh override method override which is npm install method override i think it's method dash override all right yeah i was about to say it's dash right i think it's pretty sure it's dash and we're just gonna install that not as a save Dev kind of thing. Okay, I got an error for that. What is what does it say? It's gonna be cold four oh four. Dang, I need another push to talk like button. I can't do it. Not sharing just... your screen on your stream, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let me see it. Cause mine 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 didn't seamlessly, so maybe like. I have to stream it on here on Discord, or cause it's on the stream. It's like backed up by like a minute so i'm gonna stream it here yeah that's fine that's fine okay uh so yeah it's giving me a 404 error method over is override with two r's <laughs> yes Okay, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Yeah, I was gonna sound like. Hmm. Cause I'm like, I think it's a two or it's not one. All right, we're good. Mm. Okay. All okay. Right, I guess. So Back make to... sure you're checking the package JSON if it's there. Package JSON, yes. Method uh, override is method. here. 
Okay, perfect. Um, so one of the first things we're going to do is uh, put a variable of method override in order to use it. Okay. And we want to use this after the body body parser uh, uh, variable because um, it says here when using uh, request bot that body you must fully parse the request body before you call method override in your middleware stack otherwise requ request body will not be populated so I guess it needs Devin, like correct me if I'm wrong I guess that's the reason for this is it wants to make sure it's readable like the request body gets fully okay, parsed before you're able to use method override on it Am I along the ballpark for that? Yeah, method override can't access what it needs to access until the body has been placed. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. So, that's what, yeah, you want to do that. And then, okay. in the documentation here that I see from, that Eno uh, gave me, um, you want we want to create a function you know an, an app that use method override function okay right under body parser because we because it needs to be after body parser so if you go so you have to go into the client in here and then create the function so still trying to figure that out so it's like if con if the conditional if so we're using an request dot so we're adding another um, app dot use um yes right under the body parser and above okay i see what app you're saying use express static okay i see what you're saying so we're adding app dot use and then we are using the method override and um and then within that i guess we're creating above a function of request and a response. Request body. And then what does type of do? So we're trying to uh so this is the function that's actually gonna do like the deleting. That I'm not sure yet. Okay. Was there anything else you did yesterday that I missed? No, no. No. Oh, that, that was, was it. That was it. Yeah. Did Did you do the the index.ejs loop? I believe I did. Let me check though. Yeah. Um, yeah check. The index. So the index.ejs like is pretty much where um our HTML is living. Um movies yeah i think yeah I, I got i have the loop yeah i have it you got the loop okay cool so um yeah let's uh I'm going back to the server let's continue with it so okay i'm sorry guys i need some a little bit of music in the background a little light music in the background Uh, no, what did I do? Sorry, guys, I freaking no. I closed the wrong tab. Okay, there we go. We're back. A little music in the background to keep me productive. Okay. So. Okay, so with this conditional, so then, let me see what he's doing. Let me share what the heck this guy's doing. Oh no, wrong screen. So you guys can see what he's doing. So we're getting the across from the body. A 
and the type of the request the body which equals an object and method and so he's doing a method see what he's doing <laughs> oh okay. i thought i delete the yeah, wrong so stuff okay. let me put this here because that is where the we got the same exact thing from right here and then we just do 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 uh so yeah we pretty much like got a lot of like wait am i sharing my screen okay yeah okay. of what we're um doing we're pretty much just add needing to add the delete functionality. Which apparently the method which requires the method override. Um which we installed. So type will parse before method override. More post action resource application. Actually I think I have delete resource button code it's similar to this. Yeah, so this is what will allow us to delete. Okay. Okay. Can you test that? Uh, we're not done with it because we still have to create the app dot delete property. Okay, walk me through like this, but they're like, what is going on here? Oh, sorry. Uh, walk me through this method. I'm oh, sorry. I keep forgetting I pushed it off. Walk me through like what's going on in this method override. Okay, so method override. Um, basically, it's dependent on the body parser to basically, for lack of a better term, I can't see. Have... It. No, no. I'm just gonna. I'm just talking right now. Oh, okay. So basically, right here, right, so it needs to be under body parser because it's it's um, waiting for body parser to the variable to like parse the the request that body, and then pretty much say like, okay, like this is how it's gonna look, you know, this is I'm gonna like set this up for you so you can read it perfectly, and that and that's what method override is depending on the variable body parser to do. So, um, then we have to create a app.use property, and within it we have to create a function, a, a method override uh, function, and okay. I, I'm, I'm not really sure what's going on here because from the documentation I see that it's like pretty much like just pasted like this. So we're Can you have give to, like, me a link to that documentation? Yes. Yeah, 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 I got you. So we're getting the request. Oh, no, 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 no. Request. There you go. Body, which equals the object. Oh, or in a, within a string. And um method. You can implement any kind of custom logic. Body. And within that we're creating Oh so, okay, so the if statement a, a variable called method URL which will equal the request from the body. And delete it. And so yeah, this is what allows us to Method okay, and we create like a delete. Of, the body is an object request and method. Body and require the body. That method. And then we're, we're gonna write. Nope, 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 nope. We're going to return method. Delete. Require the body. 
Okay, let me look at this documentation. Which we put in the chat. Return method. So this is the padding. Okay, so this is the Where padding did you that I post the, in the, oh. the chat. Uh, Sorry, I'm in the wrong chat. Oops. The study rounds chat. Okay, so yeah. let me look at this. So I can ex express documentation. Using our request body, you must fully parse the request body for calling for you call method override in your middleware stack. Otherwise, request request body will not be populated. Okay, so we pretty much did this. This. We have body parser, which is the middle, pretty much the middle on. Okay, hold on. So we have the body parser, which pretty much turns our code to JSON. To JSON. We have Express, yeah, call, which allows us to. I'll see you guys later. Okay, bro. <laughs> Alright, Dave. Bye. Thank you for stopping by. No problem. I'll still keep the stream on. Ah, oh, thank you. I know. No, no worries. Yeah, awesome. appreciate that. Take care, guys. So we have Express, which um, this class Express, which allows us to Look in the pretty URL much use Express, which we had to install, and then we have and our app, good. which allows us to build on top of Express. So the variable so here. So we're pretty much adding this. Method um, gives us the pathing of method it. override, which is over here. And then we and delete. Added our um, app that use override. And then we return and it. This is going to be the function that will delete when it's deleted, as as our movie after deleting, much. and that's where we're returning. Okay. Cool. So. Okay, so when we go back to Devin, EJS, do you know what uh, underscore method? What is that supposed to mean? Uh huh. Do, do you know what that's supposed to mean? Like underscore method? I had a uh -huh. delete button. I think I did. Yeah. Can you tell me what that is, please? I think I removed it. Uh, I see delete button here. Uh huh. Or like an uh, okay, okay, <laughs> or, or a hint, a hint, a hint. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. Um. Is this the same project that you know was working on a while ago? Like, what did that go to? Yeah, yeah, that's the same one. Yeah. Um. So go into the um the index dot ejs file. Yes. And what is the delete button? Um. The delete button. Yeah. You have the delete uh, there's, button. Right? I think right there's here one near the end. Yeah. Button. Remove the lead. But that's not doing anything. It's not. So it's not the same project. It's um, not. Well, I, did, I took up. that out. I took that out because like I wasn't there yet, so I I didn't like want to add something that I'm not familiar with yet. I don't want to like to type it out. Okay. Well, that functionality is for being able to. Um, I think we delete, pretty much have to create another form in the EJS for, um, um, post for it? delete. Put. Okay. Like, the browser can only actually do post and get requests, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, that method override gives you a way to, like, make pseudo actions for the mm -hmm. other... Uh, ones that don't exist in browsers, so that's like the put, update, and um, delete methods. Okay. And the way that you do that is when you have a form, for example, like on line 12, um, yeah. you would, like, if you had the, if that button instead of search was delete, mm -hmm. 
you would also put another input in there with a uh, type of hidden and value of delete. And then uh, even though the method is post. Yeah, I think we have to add another the form. The hidden that input would over the action that. of um So then on the server side another when you have a post delete form. Route, it would go to that delete, the delete route value. instead of the post mm -hmm. route. Mm. But since you don't hey. have that anywhere at the moment, yes. it's not doing anything. Got it. Okay. So let me go ahead and do I that. I think that's also in the documentation. I don't know if we're making a new form for it with the value delete. Um, but yeah, it's in the doc the end of the yeah, documentation. Yeah, it, it's yeah. I see it here. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty much this whole thing. All right, let me type it out. Just need a form. All right, I'm gonna Maybe try and action, type this out right? myself as well. Uh, you are on the right track, Zona. Oh, thank you, Adam. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, this is like. Oh, it's movies. This is new to me. Okay, so we have to. Where's the end? of this form. Um, let me see. I guess we'd have to put it within. That's how it knows where to connect. Wait, did you wrap thing. everything within a div? It's inside the div, yeah. That You no, added that last it's supposed time. To be yeah. I don't have that though. Did you add that last, well, um, yesterday? I added it yesterday, yeah, when we were going through the loop because it's not necessarily like, like the anime app. It's more like we're putting stuff inside this div. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna add yeah. that then. So... so instead of a UL, like how it was in the so we're gonna thing, it's a, I put a div on it. Okay. Yeah, that threw me off. I'm like, when did we get that? <laughs> the code that you're writing right now is not going to work the way you expect it to. It's not? How come? Because you're adding one delete button instead of one for each movie. So that coin would need to go inside of your loop. Oh. Also, oh, like every time one comes out, it comes with that delete button. Yep. Um, okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. Got so it. remember that oh, hotkey we sense. did earlier? Yes. The the what? The hotkey that we used earlier. Alt plus up arrow. Yes. What? Why you hi don't highlight it? Don't highlight it. I don't it. have to highlight it. No, just Alt plus up arrow. Oh, oh, what the heck? Let's do that. Okay, cool. Thank okay. you. So then we do this. I don't know why my zone is like line twenty eight up into it as well. Do that. Line twenty eight. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> do, do, do. Into that. In the form. And then we're going to add the that method of post. The button for the form. Oh, function. inside the form. Got it. And um. So yeah, we're going to. Cool. Whoop. Oh. Okay. Input type. Uh, do you know what else you need in there? What goes under it? Yeah, do you know what else you need in the form? So that's, that's we hidden. need a hidden, something and to make it hidden. And a delete value. Would be the yeah. underscore right? method. Okay. Mm -hmm. so and then based on the, the value of this would be delete. Here. Input. And then and we're going to add a button. Oop. And then the name. Add a button. Is method. And this type is going to be then submit. The and value. Then, yeah, it's just going to be submit and then delete. So that each movie that we add 
Well, um, as it's doing that, as it as it adds a movie, it's also each movie is gonna have its own designated delete button as well. Um, to delete. Okay. What I think so. We have. We need to tell it what do we want to delete. Um, we also are missing some parameters. Give me a second. That's what it is. Okay. Action. Hold on. So. So another input. Okay, I think we're good. Input and memory presents. Edit. Okay, so. I think that we're good. Time hidden because we want to hide it and then we name it. The name of it is. I think he's adding another input. Yes. Name what? doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter? No. Oh. You just need to make sure you have the same name when you try to use it on the uh, server. And what is the Got second it. input that you guys are doing right now? Basically, this input is we're telling. It's like, so the first one is okay, like this input I want you to delete, right? And then the right. second input is basically we're telling it what we wanted to delete specifically what it is that we wanted to delete okay yeah because if you click the remove button and it went to forward slash movies with uh -huh. the method delete it still needs to know which movie to delete right right mm -hmm. so the second input is how you tell it which one to delete Oh, so okay. The ID. And just to clarify, you do need a name. I was just saying that what you use as the name doesn't matter. Oh, okay. gotcha. So, um. Cool. So, I would probably just. just it... I would just do like ID or something. Okay. Just, we, it doesn't matter it's just as long as it matches with. Yes. Okay. Correct. Okay, cool. So, I guess it would be, um, movie, uh, I, and then, so it's going to be, let's see, um, hmm, what? the title, right? Yeah, what it, no. Or just movie I. What what is unique about every movie? What is unique about every movie? The name and mm -hmm. the image. Can can you not have multiple movies with the same title or name? Oh, that's oh the ID. Correct. Ah, okay. okay. So movie. And then it's. Okay, so we're assigning. Okay, so each movie ID? from the ID. So how I put the, well, it's so that's part true. Of there are array. movies that do have multiple that probably have the same name. Right. So, so now we're pulling. Okay, from the specific ID. Uh, no. How did no. you How did you output the title? How did I? Put Is it a dot ID? Oh, a dot. Uh, Okay. All right. And I would Looks like you got. You were getting it figured out. Oh, thank you, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Thanks to the friends who were patient enough to teach teach me and teach us. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, let's uh, run it. Oh. Okay. Let's yeah. Let's test this out. Do you have a delete uh, route? Or no, I do not. I do not yet. Okay. <laughs> I do not. That Wait, we're missing what about? <laughs> huh? What are we missing? Oh, 
we are missing the final part so we are going into our server.js and we are basically what we did with posts and all that and we have to make not what we did with posts i'm saying yeah, like yeah, since we had an app dot post we need an app dot delete oh that's true yeah we need a delete route which will control what happens when you hit that delete button a delete route that controls what happens when it's deleted and that is within the client wait am I okay I'm good <laughs> delete and it's movies forward slash movies give me a second here and it's gonna be and it's gonna be an an asynchronous function so. um yes yeah, so we're going to have all these slash movies and yeah like we said it's going to be an async from the class response class Um, we're going to add the delete one. Um, oh, okay, cool. All right, cool. cool. Function um, documentation example. This is where I think we're adding the delete one. Yes. From the collection. So he on the document. There's another documentation. I'm gonna put it in the thing here. Oh, yeah, okay. This one too. Yeah. This one right here. Uh, let me get that. Okay, we've got a MongoDB documentation here. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What is this property doing? Okay. So yeah, it's pretty much doing what we're doing. Delete one. Delete I guess we arm. would do the delete one and attach it to the ID. Yes. Right. We attach it to. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um. I have my push to talk on the tick and it's let like. Me, oh, let me make some space here because. It is always like... like every time I hold it, it does this. Oh, it's, it's like annoying. <laughs> huh? Oh no, I was talking to the stream. <laughs> oh, oh my bad. Okay. So, um, yeah, we have to attach it. Looks like we have to attach it to the um, ID. Which will movie collection is which we're going to get from the result and then we're going the to parse, console log the parse database the string that says collection inside deleted this is the collection oh because this is the collection inside the database object cool. ID and we're going to do 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 dot body dot id so we do delete one and then from there we're also going to make sure we redirect our users always at home and then we also want to catch an error as well so we're going to do create a catch Yeah, 
object ID console. is. I need to do my typing test. I need to practice my typing. Dot. Errors. Dot. Error. ID. And that is and pretty much going to get what makes it unique about the, the the object of the movie. Gives it a uniqueness. Okay, let me. Of it. Yeah, so we, yeah, we definitely that, want to add a catch do that. method and then. then um, Add that method as well. Results. I need a. What the heck is this thing doing? Like I don't know what the heck that was about. Um. All right, I think we've got that. Um, let's see if it runs. Once for logging. Okay, let me check. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, I'm missing. A, I am missing a closing tag. Hold up. I'm missing a closing tag. Is this? I'm missing a freaking closing tab. Hold on. Oh my god. Console login. I put a cash. <laughs> I put a cash <laughs> sign instead of the percent. Direction. My bad. Um, it's always those little. Slash. It's always the little, the little things. Okay. To the, to the root. All right. Okay. So now it's working. Try. Okay, so this thing crashed. I wish I, I need to like, reboot it because this is from the anime. If something happens, it's showing data from catch. the last app. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, said the uh, delete input. I don't know if it's that. Var underscore this equals super call. Argument passed and must be a string of. Huh. Var underscore this equals underscore super dot call the this. Where the heck line is it on forty one? Cannot delete movies. Does it have a closing tag? Can I see your loop for a second? Because mine is crashing. Give me a sec. Your loop is crashing? Yeah, it says I'm missing a tag. I have a tag. Uh, let me see. It's the same. Line 34? I'm missing a tag on 34? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Am I missing one? I thought this was the close. Thirty four has one. Am I... Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, I was missing a closing tag for <laughs> the inputs. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I got it. Cool. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, Adam. Oh, we have. Yeah, I just put it in. Right <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know why I was missing that. I did not catch that. Okay. So. Go ahead and do that. This site cannot be reached. Oh, wait. Because it's, it's in the movies. Oh, uh, so go here. Cannot delete movies. But why not? Yeah, mine is crashing too. Does it say the same thing? Mine, mine is saying there's an issue on. I think mine. Um, I don't know if you can see my stream. It's saying var has a variable underscore this equals underscore super call with parameters of this and message. Or this? I don't know where. Can you control click from. the the path to it, which is a C user sham. The one above it, it's the line above it. Control click. Oh no, that's like something in there. No, no, they don't, they don't touch anything in there. Oh. Huh. And it's that's the line. Why is it doing that? This freaking line is causing that. Um, I don't think you need object ID. I think you can just use the value when deleting it. Okay. As in, hold on, I think on the server. As in, I don't need this. Hold on. Cannot delete. Why can't you delete it? Oh, I see Joey Jerry. Yeah, it's something in the modules. Um... Yeah, what's up? You literally just had your issue selected. You had what selected? You had your issue selected. Like, you were just looking at it. <laughs> no, no. In server.js. Server. Is it the object ID? Yep. Yeah, Adam was saying consistency. that too. Consistency. Be consistent. What what's different about that? Uh Look at line ninety seven. What's different? Oh data dot title. Nope. What? Oh attribute object, path? Object ID. Oh, the spelling is wrong. Yeah. Oh, is no, it? No, no, no. Other one. That one was right. Oh, this is wrong? There you go. Oh. oh. Now try it on in the server. Ah, let's see. Let's see if, like, something that's different is different for you, babe, because I'm saying I'm getting a cannot delete uh, for slash movies. Okay, let's see. Uh, no, that... uh... Delete one. Let's .id. Object ID is not defined. Yeah, saying your object is not defined. Um, what What's the same for you? Oh, object ID. Uh, um, not defined. Scroll, scroll up to the top, Zelda. Wish I had that error. All the way to the top. Okay. Um. I think I know why. I, I think I'm missing. Um. 
Traveling to line twenty. Nope. Traveling to line twenty three. Oh, there we go. Try it out now. Sometimes it's the naming conventions. I think the last message is being hidden, so adding another message. Uh, hold on. Okay, so what was the issue you were having there? Yeah, so this is what it gives me. It still gives Cannot me that me. object ID. Hold on, I think it's um. Okay. And I think I see I'm what sure the heck. You want to delete that? Hold on, let me go back to the very yeah. The app right here. Where is it? Okay, app delete is uh, okay. Show me the HTML for the delete button. Okay, so action, movies, posts, okay, method deletes. Okay, um, show me the method is override this it? in Sojus. Yeah. Um, uh, is right here. In the bison? No, the other one. The way the, you uh, use it as a new one. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's, um... Okay, it's oh, yeah, they have that use right here. I think the last message is being hidden, so adding another message. It's hiding? Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, I thought it was... I sent a link. Um, oh, are you trying to send a link? Back to the delete out. Oh, the yeah. Delete Sorry. Out. Can't use dots. Um, can you fix the formatting? Like, what are, why do you have two sets of the uh, closing parentheses and parentheses at the bottom? Right here. Yeah. So this. Okay. So like this purple one here is connected with this delete, and then this one. Can't use dots. It's connected with. I don't think it's connected with anything. It's spam blocking Whoa, you. I'm Ooh, sorry. Wait, I, I, I was. Are you talking about the chat? Right. Right. So. Hey. Shift tab. Shift tab. Yeah, is there ever trouble with the delete? Okay, um... Movie collection, delete one... Yeah. Let me make sure... Well, I wasn't watching, okay, because I did some collection. stuff, and uh, now there's errors. Movie collection, movie data... Yeah, um, I don't okay, know so why just, it's... Like, Locking you. Um, I I don't think I had yeah, added so any chat blocks right here. Okay. And um, let me add a move. I want to remove it, and then it says cannot delete. Okay, now go back to the page. Yeah. Hold on, let me. No, no, like. Oh, 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 go page. back. Yeah. Let me see if I can run a movie because I've yet to test that. Fresh. And okay, so it actually didn't remove it. Um, click remove on the top one. So mm -hmm. I added Harry Potter. Should okay, add. then go back and refresh. Try to delete that movie and it's saying... Okay, it's okay yeah, it's back to that object um, ID. Go back to the code. It's the default functionality. Okay, where is object ID initialized? So not object ID is initialized that, yeah. here. We have this variable. Oh, okay, so it's not Object ID within the... At least I don't think it is. Um, Online, add a new line after 112 and do a console log. 
Okay, so... My cost ID is here. Um... Just... Say something like, hello. I want to make sure that's correct. It looks weird to me. Okay, B song. I don't know settings. if that's... Yeah. And then try to... Delete that first one again. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Do you remove object ID in the parens one? Okay, we're deleted. in there now. It'll be good. Cannot delete. No, it, says, it still says cannot delete movies. As in this whole line? So it's still not in there. It's not there, yeah. Maybe like inside movie collection, maybe? Here maybe? Oh no. Well, well, no, if it's not getting to that route, it's not gonna get any deeper into it either. Got it. Um. Um. Babe, can I see oh. where where is your object ID initialized? Where is it initialized? Um. Leave the ID hall. Up the top. Very top. Yeah. Like it's uh right here, nine seventeen. It's right after the require node fetch. I knew it. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Adam. Okay, I got it. I knew this looked uh, weird. Yeah, no. This is supposed to be MongoDB. I don't know why it's that. What's up? Okay, uh, go back I don't know why my ID was connected to some other... Yes. Thing. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Um, pull it onto the other screen so I can see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh. Um, open up Dev Tools. Okay. Okay. Now it's back to that other thing. Okay. So. Um, can you dock it to the bottom? Leave the ID. Okay. So. Can I what? Can you... At the so I'm pretty much leaving this side. and leaving it like that. Oh, uh, yeah, how do I do that again here? I think it's the three dots on the right. Are they yeah. colon? Three icons on the top. Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. okay. Um, now I click the network tab. Okay. Kind of like that. Works. It's kind of leaving a... And then hit the remove button. It's um, giving an error, so I don't know if I could just leave ID in here. Uh, on the movie, Shrek, hit the remove button. Oh, oh, gotcha. Damn. Okay, Let click on see. movies. Let me look at and the documentation so again. And you can see more of it. Yeah. Um, collapse general, collapse response. Click the triangle. Yeah. No, you need to Collapse okay. general. Oh, mm -hmm. so you're saying... Okay. Having ID so, equals this. We did. I guess that's what uh, you're saying. Do, 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 do. What is this? Mm. YouTube chat is making oh, this gosh. hard. <laughs> um. Is that all the way down? Yeah, that's all the way down. Okay, let me chat. Okay. There's actually a machine, though. Why is it doing that? To me? Okay, let's, uh, alright, let's test it. Let's test it now. Okay. Um, I have Harry Potter. This, I need to figure out how to like, like remove. I'm this is from the old API, and maybe if I get rid of it. Something very, very basic. Wait, wait. Oh, it's it did it. I think it. Wait, wait, wait. I think. No. Oh wait, hold on. No, it has to be. 
Huh. It's showing it deleted on the um, counselor. Yeah, because but you it's even not have it on your anime, uh, app to, uh, you know, on like you have Unless I did it twice, hold on. Oh, yeah, because orbs don't delete. Hold on. Okay, it's deleting on the counselor, but I still need it to, I guess, delete on. delete. It's not deleting on the front sure? end. Is it because the value is movie I ID and not movie I underscore ID? Uh, if you try that, I'm not familiar with MongoDB, so I couldn't say. Try that. Yeah, let's... It doesn't show the ID yeah. in the so long. Okay, yeah, it's not. Got no. So let's Hold see. Hold that on the screen. Yeah. Okay, let's try it out. Can you reference it with a underscore, or do you need to convert it to square brackets? Let's see. Reference underscore. Okay, give it a try. Yeah, let's give it a try. Um. Back. Doesn't show uh, the ID. Um, no, we need yeah, to Yeah, we need to figure thing. out. And Still. doesn't it only work on the ones that you added? Quest value ID. After the one. Wait, does that work? Well, it, should, it shouldn't like, matter because it should still at least go to that route, and that route is never being hit. Can I see your server side? Oh, wait, 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 look, look, look. It worked. What? Look, it's working. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was It's a wrap, you are a developer. You know, debugged an issue. Okay. You know, debugged a freaking issue. You know, it's a mind wow. game to develop. Oh. Deleted. Huh. So let's look back at it. One. Let's look back at this, at this code. Look at that. Let me see. Okay. So. Uh, let me see how these guys. Someone figured it out. Give me one. Underscore ID. Underscore ID. Uh, somebody. Yeah, so I guess it's that's this is what it wants to like look for. In line one fourteen. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you. Uh, yeah, put that's on. so weird. No, because, because that's, that's how the MongoDB produces the ID. Yeah, that's that's MongoDB convention. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, what did you do? Added an underscore to the ID in the oh. HTML. Yeah, in 2926. Oh. Mm -hmm. That underscore ID. Maybe that is why. Oh. Okay. Let me okay. see. Okay, let me try object ID one more time. You did it. Um. You did it. No! What did I, I do? I can see my family. The, uh... <laughs> that again? Oh, no, for uh, Rona. Oh. Let me see. Let's see. Let's try Zona. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see if this thing works. Um, I've got all these. Okay, I see it. Yeah, okay. Now we're getting the ID. Oh shit, and, and did it delete it from deleted the site? It. Yeah, it did. Yeah, yeah, it did. Ooh. Um, Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so proud of you guys. Oh you my right. gosh. Okay, yeah, we were close. Um, Adam, thank you so much. Yeah, it was the freaking <laughs> underscore in the EJS that was missing on the Good ID. Job. Good job. Wow, okay, now I can delete all these freaking oh, movies. Alright, alright, babe. Okay, okay. Alright. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Babe, what the? How many things did you put in that thing? <laughs> 
This was like all those times yeah. I kept bugging and I cut it, it wouldn't like delete it, so it literally just stayed there. You can delete it directly from MongoDB if you want. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. Good job. Good job, Sorry, everyone. Good job. Good job. Good job. We figured it out. Dog, yes, go. It. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Adam. Yeah, thank you, Devin. For you your did help. The only movie did, that you, did, you get, wow. did you get to feel out the wrath of Devin when he would nitpick everything? Because your code looks new to me, so. No, it was actually very pleasant. Oh, it I was think pleasant. he just doesn't thank like you. Thank you so much, Adam, for like helping me. <laughs> <laughs> for helping me debug it. Like, oh, man, we figured it out. <laughs> That's so awesome. So now. We could search a freaking nah, movie. <laughs> and then, boom! Oh. Yeah, Sorry, so guys. Well Sorry guys. Wow, this is so, cool. <laughs> so this is our app. Right? It's so cool. And you actually understand what's going on. And uh Yeah, yeah. That's freaking awesome. So we're now I could input yeah. let me get a movie Titanic. Okay, this is what you get for actually just like sitting down and doing it. Trying to understand it. And we can search it and then boom, we have our Titanic movie poster. Just know that every now, day you guys put in the work, even if it's for like five minutes. To and now I could come here. Ever, it'll always be worth it. it. And it's gone. You know, there's people that aren't Let's here go. right now. Oh, wow. To have That's so awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> no, thank you guys so much for like your patience yeah. and teaching us this. <laughs> like, oh man, this is so awesome. I wish everyone else was here, but um, yeah, this was this was really fun. This is so cool. Oh my god, I'm so happy we solved that, dude. We we were sitting here for like five hours like yesterday, like trying to figure out the other API, and it was like such a pain in the butt. So the fact that we figured it out today, oh, I could go to sleep at night. Awesome. I'm definitely going to sleep at night happy. Oh, just reuse it for other projects. And I'm definitely gonna, I'm definitely going to practice this again. Cause I, I, yeah, I definitely need to practice more API. So I'm definitely gonna use this as a template um, to do more API projects. Um, but man, this was fun. <laughs> Thank you everyone for, for st who's still here watching this, <laughs> who stuck through. Thank you so much, Adam and everyone, Izzy. For sticking through with me through this this was i'm so happy now we just gotta i guess make it look pretty <laughs> now i want to learn how to like use tail end to make it look pretty so i don't know if i'll do that this session but probably another um stream I'll try to learn tailwind but oh my god i'm so happy <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, that's our app, guys. The film buff way. Well, I I couldn't think of a name, so that was the name I chose. Um, and yeah, oh my god, I'm gonna review this freaking code. This took like a week. We did this in a week. Um, and I'm really proud of this. <laughs> And I uh, really want to, maybe we could uh, add more functionality to it. Maybe like we could get the name and also maybe get the description of the movie as well. Add more features to it. Make it more practical, I guess. <laughs> uh, and add some good, good old tailwind to make it look sick and nice. So yeah, this is super cool. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, guys, thank you so much for being here with me. This was crazy. Um, I'm going to end the stream here. I'm so glad we were able to figure out those bugs. Thank you for everyone. Devin, Adam, thank you. Eno, uh, Jason, for helping us with this. Um, really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, next stream will be on Friday. Can't wait. Um, let me 
Hold on, let me get out of this. So yeah, the next stream will be on Friday. It's gonna be um, it's gonna be another coding stream. So yeah. Oh, and it's also my birthday. Actually, I don't know if we're gonna call it. It's my birthday. I don't know if I will stream, but um, follow me on Twitter. Um, let me post my Twitter. I don't know if I will stream that day. I don't know if I'll end up having plans. Um, but if I um, if I do, I'll let you guys know where the heck is my stream chat i don't know where it at okay and uh i put my twitter if you aren't following me on twitter please go ahead and follow me um i'm that's my the social i'm most active in so any updates um it's best to follow me there like and subscribe if you like this content like and subscribe um because I have more content, more streams coming your way. Thank you so much once again for everyone for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, yeah, I'm going to tune out. And uh, I hope everyone has a lovely, lovely, lovely Tuesday. And I catch you guys Friday or next time. I'm going to just say next time. I don't know if I'll stream already. But I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys. And peace out. Have a good day.